Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we're going to be opening up another booster box of Core 19, because uh, this set is just fun on a bun, loving the heck out of it. And our last box didn't turn out too shabby, so let's go ahead and dive right into this one and see what we can't do with it. Um, I said that last box was, I think it was, I think it was pretty solid, so... Let's we'll do that. Make this a lot easier. There we go. All right. And we're going to try to hustle through this to once again speed through this so we don't, uh, we're not making a half hour video here. Uh, I think we did relatively good on the last video, but I'd still like to cut it down just a hair. All right, there we go. All right, that's what we do. All right, so let's go ahead and start off. Uh, per usual, we're going to go ahead and we are going to take this first pack, and if there's any good stuff in it, it's going to go into our Patreon Build-A-Pack box. Uh, nothing good in the way of... Let me scoop a little bit. In the way of uh, commons, so let's go straight to this stuff. Uh, we got Skilled Animator, Recollect, Switcheroo and Cleansing Nova. Um, I'm not sure if this is actually worth anything. Um, I don't know. Uh, but we'll go ahead and put it aside. If any of that is worth anything, uh, well, not anything. If it's worth uh, putting into the Patreon Build-A-Pack box, it will go in there. Uh, but we've still got a lot of good stuff in there. Um, I don't think anyone's pulled the shock land out of it yet. Um, we just had another Planeswalker added. Um, what's the other one? There's another one in there that's worth... There's more in there. I, I forget what all's in there, but there's stuff, and it's good. Okay, so we got Dragon Egg, Gasbark Twins, Poison Tip Archer, and an Arcades the Strategist. Then we got a Foil Gutter Snipe. This is a winner, winner, chicken dinner pack. We got a Woodland Stream as well. Foil gutter snipe. Love this art. Love the card. Love the foil. I love it all. We actually just having a discussion at my uh, local gaming store, BC Comics and Games, um, which you should definitely go check out. There's a link to their uh, to their page down in the description um, about how nuts it would be if they uh, print gutter snipe here and then the next set they brought in lightning bolts. That would be berserk. It would break magic, but I'm just saying. All right, we got Millstone, we got Shield Mare, we got Meteor Golem, that's not bad, and Remorseful Cleric, and another foil, we got a Prodigious Growth. All right, and then Forsaken Sanctuary. Not too shabby for our first couple of packs. I don't think the growth is really worth a whole lot. Um, that might see some EDH play, though. I don't know, we'll see. All right, we got a Lightning Mare, we got a Blood Divination, we got a Heroic Reinforcements, and a Lena, Lena, Selfless Champion. Oh, tell you what, this thing swung at me this weekend, this, or not this weekend, pre-release weekend, and it was not fun. Then you get that, uh, the sword that pumps out knights with it as well. No, thank you. That's just bad. Why are we all out of focus here? I just noticed that. All right. Uh, forgive me for a quick second, folks. Um, it looks like I'm going to have to uh, reset some stuff here. So please give me one quick moment, and we'll be right back. Okay, we are back. I apologize for that. Uh, the autofocus was turned on for some odd reason. I don't know. Anywho, uh, let's go ahead and get through this. We got Make a Stand, we got Dried Green Seeker, Surge Mare, and then a Johnny Adversary of Pirates. And we got a Foil Island. Man, good stuff here. We're going to go ahead and toss this over here, and that's going to go in our Patreon Build a Pack box because uh, we give out Foil Basics as well. Yeah, it's good stuff, man, I'm telling you. 
In fact, the foil basics don't just go out with the uh, Patreon Build-A-Pack box. Anything that actually receives cards from us gets a foil basic. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that. All right, we got Make a Stand, uh, Tectonic Rift, Brawl Bash Ogre, and Magistrate's Scepter, along with a Traquil Expanse. Next pack. I just looked at my uh, my timer here. I'm like, minute seven, man, we are flying through these packs. Completely forgot I had to reset. We got Rise from the Grave, Gear Per Guide, Herald of Faith, and we got Bone Dragon, Second Mythic of the Box. Now, our last box that we opened up here, before we got through the first stack, I believe we had like three or four Mythics pulled. It was gross. Good gross up. Psychic Corrosion, another Gutter Snipe, love that card. Vampire Sovereign, and we got a Gore Claw, Terror of Qualsima. And then we got a Submerged Boneyard and a Tezzeret Emblem. Alright, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Here we go. We got Ether Tunneler, Vine Mare, Siegebreaker, Giant, and then we got Isolate. I mean, I, I don't know what we're going to do with that. That's... I don't know. I'm sure it definitely has a place. I should probably keep up more, a little more on the changing decks. But I just don't, I don't have the time. I wish I did. Alright, we got Reliquary Tower, we got Ether Shield Artificer, uh, Declared Dominance, and then Omniscience, third mythic of the box, and then a foil rare, we got a Mist Caller. Man, two foil rares. Yeah. Three Mythics, two Foil Rares, and we're not even done with the first stack. Oh, lordy. We got Reclamation... <laughs> Reclamation Sage. <laughs> Ages of the Heavens, Dryad, Green Seeker, and uh, Wind Reader Sphinx. And then we got a Foil Woodland Stream. Throw that in the Foil Pile. Man doing good nope skip too far all right we got novice knight we got volcanic dragon heroic reinforcement and one with the machine and another foil so uh sovereign's bite and then forsaken sanctuary All right, here we go. Double cast. Uh, Fountain of Renewal, Volcanic Dragon, and then Gigantosaurus. That's actually the first one of him I've pulled. Sweet. All right, let's go to that next stack here. Just curious, what is some of the good stuff y'all are pulling out of your boxes? I've heard some absolute horror stories of people opening boxes that seriously don't have a value over 35 bucks, which... That's just brutal. Um, and then I've heard other stories about you know people just opening straight money. So I would like to know what you pulled. We got uh, a Johnny. We got stuff out of focus again. A Johnny's welcome. Fell Specter. Departed deckhand and uh, prodigious growth. This one is not foil though. So we got stone quarry and we got a token. All right. Psychic Corrosion, Rogue's Gloves, Switcheroo, and Phylactery Lich, along with the Highland Lake. I'm going to push that stack back there a little bit. We'll do the same with those uncommons. So the stack's just getting unruly. So yeah, I, I would I would like to know your uh, your wonderful stories about what you have pulled. Um, if you haven't seen it, check out our last box opening video. That one was nuts. Uh, we gave away a card, uh, or we gave away a pack, and in that pack that we opened, on camera was, it was gross money, and then we just, the box was ridiculous, and we got Inferno, hell yeah, I almost said Inferno Titan, I missed that card. We got uh, Psychic Symbiont, Siegebreaker Giant, and Supreme Phantom. 
All right, I'm slowing down here, and I'm, I'm doing my best not to. I'm, I'm trying to... I swear, I'm trying to keep this these videos somewhat short. All right, we got Branchwood Armor. Blanchwood Armor. Militia Bugler. Hyromancer's Cage. And uh, Isareth the Awakener. That card, especially in Limited, is gross. Anything that can bring stuff out of your graveyard back to the battlefield um, because there wasn't a whole lot of interactions with the graveyard most people uh, there wasn't there's not a lot of graveyard hate to begin with and then what little there was people usually weren't running because you know there's not a whole lot of graveyard interactions so all right we got dragon egg we got grave digger enigma drake and liliana's contract and a timber gorge wrong pile through that the wrong way. There we go. Now we're thinking with power. All right. Let's see what we got here. If I can open this pack. Struggle, struggle. And we got a peek at the rare. Even better. I'm just messing up left and right. We got double cast, die, draconic disciple, lightning strike, and bane fire. Oh, we did get a foil bog stomper. Okay, trying to spoil the ending this time. There we go. We got Novice Knight, Fell Specter, uh, Deported, De Deported, Departed Deckhand, and uh, Detection Tower. Then we got a Foil Knightly Valor. And then a Cinder Baron. All right. Tried spoiling it again. I'm sorry, folks. I'm trying. Uh, Blood Divination. We got Horizon Scholar, Regal Blood Lord, and Dark Dweller Oracle. And a Woodland Stream. So, I'm also curious about what y'all think. Uh, how well has this impacted Standard? Uh, I, I would like to know that. Um, every time a new set comes out, uh, there seems to be a lot of diversity right off the bat, but we can tell rather quickly if it's going to be uh, back to the same old, same old. And I'm curious how you feel about that right now. Leave a comment below. Love to hear it. Uh, we got Rupture Spire. We got Stitcher's uh, Supplier. Psychic Symbiont. And a Sun Cleanser. And uh, what do y'all think about that, uh, the buy a box promo that came with this? Holy cats. I mean, kind of like handing out money when you buy boxes. I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong. We got Rogue's Gloves, Mirror Image, Poison Tip Archer, and Dragon's Horde. Oh, then we got the Nicobolas Marker card. All right, last pack of the second stack. We are slowly but surely getting there. We got a Johnny's Welcome, Grave Digger, Enigma Drake, and Death Baron. That's not too shabby. We got a Meandering River as well. Move this stuff off to the side. Start on that third stack. Uh, what do we got? We think we're still sitting at three Mythics. Yeah, we're sitting at three mythics, so uh, if we're going by statistics alone, we should have one more. All right, we got Thud, uh, Diamond Mare, a Johnny's Pride Mate, Mystic Archaeologist, and then a Foul Orchard. Another pack I'm struggling with. Keep revealing that rare. I apologize, folks. I am off my game today, 100%. We got Ether Shield Artificer, Plague Mare, a Johnny's Pride Mate, and Patient Rebuilding. Good lord. Okay. 
Don't spoil the rare. Don't spoil the rare. Don't spoil the rare. Didn't spoil the rare. Yay. All right. We got stuff out of focus. That's what we got. We got Nightmares Thirst. We got Volley Veteran. Skyrider Patrol. And Demanding Dragon. And then we got a Foil Centaur Courser. Uh, oh, and a Foul Orchard. All right. I, I, I know that outside of Limited, those... Those dual lands really don't serve much of a purpose, um, but man, they are so worth it when you're playing any form of limited. It's so nice. We got Druid of Horns, Gargoyle, Sentinel, Lightning Strike, and Palaka Worm. <laughs> Oldie but a goodie and brought back as a rare as it probably should have been all those years. Well, maybe not all those years, but... I'm sorry, but that a 7-7 seven, seven with Trample is hard enough to deal with. But add the fact that it gains you 7 life, and then it draws you a card when it goes away. That just seems pretty good. Uh, Druid of Horns, Ravenous Harpy, Diagraph Ghoul, and Hungering Hydra. We're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Um, something new we're kind of trying out. Didn't our last video. Uh, we're posting the prices of all the cards, and we're seeing if we can essentially beat, uh, meet or beat the price, uh, standard price for one of these boxes. Bone to Ash, Murder, Exclusion Mage, and Leonin War Leader with the Cinder Barons. So, I mean, you've noticed that as uh, down the corner, you see the price pop up. We're actually going to tally those now and see if we can actually meet the price of a booster box. Um, now one thing we're doing is we're only including cards that are two dollars or more. So we're not going to nickel and dime it because I mean realistically trying to move those cards is kind of hard. Uh, we got Reliquary Tower, Seder Enchanter, Knightly Valor, and Chaos Wand. So um, I'm not I'm not feeling too strong about this particular box. I'm really not. Uh, we still have some packs to go though so we will see where it takes us. All right, we got Leonin Vanguard, Gift of Paradise, Colossal Majesty, and Dismissive Pyromancer with a Stone Quarry. Actually, I don't think that that pack would have been too bad for draft. Just with the glance I had it. I'm sorry, not draft, sealed. Draft is a whole different ballgame. All right, we got ourselves a Fiery Finish, Meteor Golem, Skyrider Patrol, and Psy Master Thopterist. And then a Highland Lake. We got three packs left to make this happen. Um, now, of course, we can't tally these prices until after the video shot, and we go back through with editing and all that, and then take a look at it. So I could be completely wrong, but I don't think we are making it. We had Gear Per Guide, Lightning Mare, Plague Mare and Demanding Dragon with a Foil Aviation Pioneer. Put that over here. All right. Two packs left. Let's see what we can do. We got Arcane Encyclopedia, Surge Mare, Diagraph Ghoul, and Sigiled Sword, 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 Sword of Valoran. All right, last pack to kind of pull this out. Like I said, I'm, I'm pretty sure unless we get something amazing in this, I don't think we quite got there. But we'll see. We will see. All right, we got Volley Veteran, uh, Gast Black, Gla Gast Bark Twins, Fell Spectre, and Lathless Dragon Queen. And then a Timber Gorge. All right, so take a look at what we got here. Uh, like I said, I, I, I don't think we're meeting uh, that price mark with this. Um, I'm seeing some cards that are a few bucks, but nothing really, nothing really outstanding. Uh, well, Death Baron, that's, that's a few bucks. Um, that might be something. Actually, I have no idea where that card's at right now. I really don't. Uh, 
Yeah, possibly. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, this one seems really good, though. Um, I know that was up there for a second. I don't know if it still is. Um, oh, well, he goes in the other pile. So, yeah, we did. Okay, we did get four. I'm sorry. I thought we only had three. We got Omniscience, Bone Dragon, Ajani, and Arcades. Um, so, yeah, still still not feeling it. Although, we did get uh, Knightly Valor in foil, Gutter Snipe in foil. That's, that's nice and pretty. The Centaur, Aviation, Pioneer, Bog Stomper, Sovereign's Bite, and Woodland Stream. And then we got two rare foils. Uh, the growth and the mist caller. Um, I'm pretty sure this is only a few bucks. Mist caller, I have no idea about. So we'll see. I'm going to say, I think it's but we'll find out. Um, anyways, so yeah, that's what we got here. Thank you all very much for watching. It's greatly appreciated. Um, if you liked what you saw here today, do me a huge favor. Click that like button, hit subscribe. And then be sure to hit that little bell and notification button thingy so you can tell when new episodes come out. And then share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Once again, thank you very much for watching. And as always, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, Chuckwagon MTG. Now, if you could do us one last huge favor, check out this brief message about our sponsor. Chuckwagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games, now at one mega location to fill all of your gaming and comic needs. They have Magic the Gathering events every night of the week, as well as Warhammer, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures League, Final Fantasy TCG, Pokemon, and Star Wars X-Wing events all throughout the week. They also have close to 100,000 comics on site. This is why I have personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.